Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This has come earlier than I was expecting. It's fairy loot. So, um, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting. It. I knew I had a parcel from fairy loot coming, but I was, I thought it was my replacement for bookshops and bone dust, which I haven't posted because it turned up damaged. Anyway, let's have a little sneaky peek. It looks like we've got a bag and a hat, maybe. So let's go for the bag first. Ooh. Okay, this is very similar to the one that we got quite a while ago. They did when they did like the... Um... Oh my god, I can't remember the name of the book. It was like a Greek themed box, basically. Um. Yeah, I like that. I actually like that more than the other one. So it's got Stalking Jack the Ripper. This is how to lose a time war. Ace of Shades. Oh, oh my god, it has a zip on it. <gasps> That's amazing. I know tote bags aren't meant to have zips, but this is great. Um, I love a bag with a zip because they just feel more secure. I'm not going to read out all of these books, but this is a very, very nice bag. Very well made. Um... Moth to the Flame tote bag. Cool. Wait, is that that's what the theme is, isn't it? Moth to the Flame? I don't remember. I feel like that's probably what it is. That is a nice bag. <laughs> yes, I was right. Oh, I knew it was a hat. A little, a little cap. Um, what does it say? Bas yeah. It's got little dragons on it. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that it's probably inspired by Thor Fourth Wing. Or something dragony, but I feel like it's going to be fourth wing. What else have we got? We've got <laughs> Crimson Moth Friendship Keychains. Most of my friends are online. Um, oh, they're really pretty. Look at that. I can't line them up. I think I'm just going to keep both of them for myself because I'm selfish. And I like them. And I can play with them. I might put them on my work lanyard so I can fiddle with them during the day. They're really nice. They're a really good quality. And I absolutely love key rings and keychains. <laughs> I have loads. Everyone can hear me coming for days. And then this is... <laughs> this is a mug. <laughs> Another mug. I've got, I've got so many that I don't really... Oh! Okay. Okay. This is a clear mug. Oh my god. I like that. She had the <laughs> she had the temperament of a deranged goose. The Jazz Ad Air by Sarah Hashem. I like that. And that just reminds me of Untitled Goose Game. But I like that and I love like the little autumny vibes with the leaves and the petals and stuff. Oh my god. I take back my disappointment at this being a mug because that's a really nice mug. You don't really see, at least me personally, don't really see many clear mugs. Maybe I just live a sheltered life in terms of mugs, but I like that. That's nice. Okay, we're down to the book. Let's get out the tarot cards. Oh, I have I I have three. Okay. I have three tarot cards. And I don't recognise any of them. So not that that means much. But given the past couple of books, I feel like these could be characters based on this month's book. So I'm not gonna have a look at the spoiler card yet. Um I don't recognize them we'll see and then this was the artwork card we have got a moth to the flame oh yeah so the tote bag is based off of that okay so let's take a little sneaky peek at the book okay we have got some black sprayed edges let's get it out that is the scribe Ooh, that's pretty oh look at that foiling okay we have got the crimson moth by Kristen, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, whatever I say, I feel like, 
I'm gonna say Kikarelli? No. Whatever that name is. I don't know how you say that. I'm really sorry. It's a very pretty book though. So we've got this on the side. A little moth on the back. Ooh, look at those. They are nice. Okay, these are our sprayed edges. We've got moths. Come on, focus. We got some moths going down. That looks really, really nice. Okay. On the back, it's got, she was the crimson moth, a wanted criminal, not to mention a witch, hiding in plain sight. But this wouldn't be the first time she walked into a space full of people who hunted her kind. She'd done it hundreds of times before without batting an eye. So why was there a tiny seed of fear sprouting inside of her? Okay, let's have a look. Oh, oh, we've got a reversible jacket. We've got a reversible jacket. <clears throat> Oh, okay, that's going to be a tough decision because this is quite a nice reversible jacket. And last month's one, I actually preferred the reversible jacket on as well. So this is what we're getting. Looking really nice. And then we have got gold foiling on a black book. And you guys know how much I love that. Look at that. That is lovely. And we've got, focus, there we go, we've got it on the side. Oh, it says book one, so we've got a series potentially going on. And the back is pretty much the same as the front. So that's nice. Let's put this back on the dust jacket. Oh, right, I just, as I was putting the dust jacket on, I've just seen that the author's letter is actually inside the book this time. Which I think is the first time Fairy Loot's done that. Kind of a shame that we're not getting like a author's art card unless it's like missing and I've just lucked out. But let's find out what this book's about. So it's book one. Oh, okay. So it's going to be a duology um, of called The Crimson Moth. Um, I can't hold this. It's very like, oh, shit. I didn't need to swear. I'm sorry. The... Uh, inner covers totally forgot about that it's got a lot of nice foiling on it what's the back like oh the back is the same but actually opens better than the front cover so i should have showed that one first okay now let's find out what the book is about <clears throat> on the night runes life changed forever blood ran in the streets now in the aftermath of a devastating revolution, witches have been diminished from powerful rulers to outcasts, ruthlessly hunted due to their waning magic, and Rune must hide what she is. Spending her days pretending to be nothing more than a vapid young socialite, Rune spends her night as the Crimson Moth, a witch vigilante who rescues her kind from being perched. Oh, this sounds good. This sounds interesting. Although based on the artwork, I feel like we're gonna have a forbidden romance situation going on when a rescue goes wrong rune decides to throw the witch hunters off her scent by <laughs> by courting the handsome gideon sharp except gideon is a notorious and unforgiving witch hunter loyal to the revolution and falling for him would be deadly so we have another enemies to lovers book i can only assume that that is where this is gonna go Maybe, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised and it'll be a plot twist and they won't actually, maybe she'll fall in love and he won't and it will be super dangerous for her. It still sounds like a really interesting book though, like being a vigilante to save the rest of her kind. Um, I'm looking forward to reading this. It's going to be pretty cool. Oh, the author's letter. Yes. Because I just, even though I literally just said it, I looked around and was like, where's the author's letter? No, it's in the book. <clears throat> They've actually done it really nicely as well. Look at that. Dear Fairy Loot readers, I've been obsessed with the Scarlet Pimpin Pimpinal by Baroness Orgzi for a, as long as I can remember. A few years ago, I was craving all things Scarlet Pimpinal. And after devouring the book, the film and the TV show, I went searching for retellings. Sadly, the pickings were slim, like really slim. So I decided to write my own to satisfy my craving. I asked myself, what if I gender swapped the Scarlet Pimpernel? And what if instead of the French aristocrats getting executed, they're witches who once ruled were overthrown and are now being hunted down? And Viola. Viola? Viola. 
Voila. <gasps> voila! That's how you spell it. Oh my god. And voila, a book was born. Every book is different. Some take years, decades, even to write. Some are painful and hard, and every word feels like torture. But this one felt like falling in love. Breathless and easy and fun. At times it seemed like someone was handing me the story piece by piece, and all I had to do was write it down. Furiously trying to keep up before it outpaced me. I hope that's your experience too. I hope the Crimson Moth makes your breath catch and your pulse race as you root through this tender-hearted witch and tragic boy who's hunting her. Happy reading. Oh, it's very pretty. Like, on the pages and everything. So they've got, like, flowers and stuff. That's nice. I'm kind of a little bit sad about the art cards just because they gave us that really super cool folio a few months ago um, to store them all in. But then at the same time, it was getting filled up quite quickly. So I guess it's not the worst thing in the world to drop down to one. Um, I noticed they've also stopped doing the bookmarks. Unless, again, that could be something that I'm missing, but we'll see. So, <clears throat> the corduroy cap was designed by No One Designs. It rep represents Basquiat of War College from the Empyrean series by Rebecca Yaws. I knew it. You have this stylish corduroy cap as you were a student there yourself. Not really a cap person, so I might put that up online or see if I know, I know anyone that wants that. The friendship keychain set was designed by Layla underscore Ashtar underscore Shrine, inspired by the Crimson Moth by Kirsten. Oh my god, I didn't read the author bit. I'll do that in a second. This unique keychain is split into two halves. Share one with yourself. Share one with your book bestie and keep the other for yourself. I'm not doing too well today. <laughs> the glass mug is designed by Bluey Boo. Oh my god. <laughs> Take it geesey. And treat yourself to your favourite drink in this sassy glass mug. It features a quote from the Jassard Hair by, Air by Sarah Hasham. <coughs> The bookshelf tote bag designed by Chatty Nora. Carry your next book haul in this dreamy bookshelf tote bag. It features books with characters that simply could not stay away from one another. Can you spot any of your favourites? And then the cards of the month for the tarot cards. I have an extra card. This month's tarot card set features Rune as the Page of Moons and Gideon as the Knight of Moons. The characters from The Crimson Moth are brilliantly illustrated by the amazing Rosalind Arts. I have three. Was this missing from a previous book? I know, because I've had two cards for quite a while. Has anyone else had three cards in their, in their box? Or do you guys know who this character is? Because I can't figure it out. Maybe it was missing, I don't know. Um, so the featured book of the month is A Crimson Moth. Um, the Fairy Loot exclusive edition has an exclusive redesigned cover by Lenyan.art. Reversible dust jacket featuring a colorway change of the standard cover. Digitally sprayed edges by Lenyan.art. And at Blanca.design with a solid spray top and bottom edge. Fold design on the hardcover by Blanca.design. Fold artwork on the end papers by Lenyan.art. And an author letter bound into the book with a digital signature. So we are not getting an author's card with artwork anymore. Or at least with this one. Um, I don't know if that's going to be the thing. Um, I think kind of nice. Um, Illuma Crate do it. Page and Wick do it. And the Lock Library do it. Um... Because it, me personally, I don't really sell my books. Um, I've sold one from this book selection. Don't shoot me. It was Babel. I did not enjoy it. It was a, it was a tough slog. Um, I know everyone like will probably stone me for this because Babel is like be all and end all of books apparently. Um, I didn't like it. I sold it. And I know me personally where I keep the art cards with the letters in the folder that they gave us a few months ago I would probably forget to send that and then I'd feel really bad um where it's, I think it's quite nice to have them inbound in the books because then they are always there no matter who has the book so if I was to like grow tired of my book collection or have a clear out or love this book so much that I want someone to borrow it I would never do that actually I don't know why I said that I don't let people read my books because I have serious book OCD um, but if I was to move the books on to someone, 
at some point in my life it's nice for them to have the author letter and yeah so I didn't read the author section so let's do that Kristen grew up on a great farm, dropped out of college and worked various jobs before becoming an author. Some of her previous trades include baker, porter, large assistant and community bread oven coordinator. Today, Kristen resides on Canada's Niagara Peninsula with her husband and their book-obsessed toddler. She is also the author of the internationally best-selling Iskari series. I've been all over the place today, I'm really sorry. Um, it's been a week and I drove to a place that I don't normally drive to today and back and that was a bit harrowing in the rain so that's probably why I'm a bit scatterbrained um and then I also wasn't expecting this to turn up today because they said it was going to turn up tomorrow happy surprises next month's theme is heists and hustles we are so excited to reveal the March theme for our monthly YA box and it's heists and hustles Live life on the edge. Come with us on a thrilling journey filled with high stakes action, masters of deception, and incredible straight. Oh, ha! Strategists, because they put it on two separate lines. I am dumb. From found families to unlikely alliances, we're ready to join the hustle and bustle of these adventures. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited. In this box, you will find items inspired by The Hobbit. Ray Bearer, Once Upon a Broken Heart, Legends and Lattes, and our featured book of the month. We're excited to reveal that this box will include our next weapon replica letter opener. Oh my god, I bet it's going to be Sting. Oh my god, if it's Sting, I'm going to cry. Two new items, which we have never done before. One of them will be a useful household item. Ooh, that's exciting. Set in a rich reimagining of 1920s London, this month's book follows an orphan girl who runs a tea house with, which may not be all it appears. I think I know what book this is. The main character and her fellow misfits navigate their way through a tangled web of heists and conspiracies in a dark vampire underworld. Get ready for enemies to lovers, romance, secret vampire societies, and of course tea. I know what book this is. <gasps> I was going to buy this. I'm going to wait. I know what book this is. I'm so excited. The Fairy Loot Exclusive Edition will have an exclusive redesign cover by Rosie Thorns 88, digitally sprayed forage art, digitally sprayed forage art by Rosie A Thorns 88, a foil design on the hardcover, different front and back, yay, by Blanca Dot Design, design artworks on the M papers, different front and back, by Rosie Thorns 88, and bonus content. This edition will also have an author letter with a digital signature bound into the book. So the letters are being bound into the books going forward, I think, based on this and this month's. That's kind of cool. Um, and it gives us more room for these. Kind of sad the bookmark's not a thing anymore, though. At least not that I've seen. It might not be here. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, the mug. The mug is my favourite, despite my initial reaction to seeing that I have yet another mug. Like, fucking look at that goose. He's going to fuck you up. I... Do you know why I try really hard not to swear in these videos? And it's just... it's not gone well today. And I swear not anyway. But look at this. Look at him. He is going to shank someone. I love the cup. This is, this is my favourite item. Everything's been really good not so sure about the cap but everything else oh my god on point love it um love the customizations and the books excited for next month especially if that weapon replica is gonna be sting because that is just gonna be so cool um yeah that's that's this what month are we february that's february's fairy loop book and yeah i am gonna go use my new mug now because i'm so happy about it I will be back soon with another unboxing. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. Drop a comment. What's your favourite item if you had the box? Even if you haven't, like what from what I've shown you have you liked the most? Um, if you have, did you get this card as well as these? Because I am so confused. It's not on the list. I don't know who it is. I can't work out who it is. Is it? No, it's not. I was going to say, is it from, is it Bryce? But I don't think it's Bryce from Crescent City. Let me know. And yeah, like and subscribe. Um, you'll get notifications when I post my next video. And I'll see you guys next time.